So a company called Zizar, who are very well known for providing sophisticated scanning equipment, kindly sent me a very interesting product called the Fancy S Pro. Unlike the other scanning equipments, this unit itself can actually transform into a webcam or also for the function of doing unboxing video for my benefit, mainly because it has an 8 megapixel camera and it can record up to 4K quality of videos and also has a built-in microphone and four adjustable lighting units as well on top of that they kindly sent me a really nice sort of plastic sharp edge unit which i believe can be used for unboxing their own package as well so enough said let's get on to this very interesting product shall we so here it goes okay so let's use this green sharp edge to cut through this okay so it's not doing that well but once you poke it i think that's it so thank you very much for this and Voila, look at that. That actually looks like the official package of it. So let's take that out. There you go. So it says here that this is a recyclable EPP package, not EPS, for long-term use. So make sure you don't throw this away immediately. So again, let's try to use this green thing to cut it through. Look at that. That is really clear cut there. Well done because of the handle and wow, look at that. So before we actually get into the main unit, I can see this really interesting plug that can convert the USB-A to a USB-C. This comes very handy people because we all know that nowadays USB-C is more popular. And to the main device, let's get rid of this soft covering and pull this out. Wow, it's actually good weight and good metal quality, by the way. And inside this, we got the instruction manual, should we say? So that's how it looks overall. Please do pause and check it out if you want. Okay. And all this and a QR code as well. So the first impression of this main unit of Fancyest Pro is that it's a really good quality, actually. It's plastic but metal feel of it and a good weight that is mainly focused here as you actually hold it. The weight is focused on this part. Now the movement itself is very good and you can actually adjust it by rotating these quite obviously. Now I believe the microphone is inside here somewhere because I can't find the main hole. Used to be just one or two around the actual machine itself. We got the light unit here and the camera which is rather small actually. I'm surprised you can actually have a 4K out of this 8 megapixel camera here. So for the actual control panel we got the manual focus and singular auto focus for S C is for continuous focus and you can actually decide that by pressing up and down. We've got the expose level plus and minus and adjustment of lighting and 180 degree rotation. And this apparently you can do another adjustment as well, which we're going to find out soon. So as you can see, the Fancy S Pro is now connected to my mini PC here and it worked immediately with the blue light on and currently is lighting up and camera focusing on my Rabbit R1 here. And the result is just remarkable, people. Look at that. You can see all the text from the screen and all these details of flashing of light. And this is something that my camera, uh, Canon EOS M50, cannot achieve. So that's remarkable. Well done. So let's focus on few objects here. So this is the Rabbit R1 in a transparent case. Again, you can see all these scratch marks. That's really incredible indeed. All the texts are clearly uh, read through the actual camera lens here. And if we were to rotate it again, give a bit of a time to focus and you can see all those texts. Now you can actually press the 180 degree button to flip it around to the other side. As you can see, that's now rotated. If you want to go back, press it again. So that's how it works. Okay, so you can actually adjust the lighting as well by pressing this on the top. So that's off, on, brighter, brighter, off. Okay, so that's the full level of lighting we can expect. So let's actually make it slightly brighter. And again, that's just incredible the way how you could zoom in. 
So this will be very useful for doing uh, unboxing on smaller objects and so on. Now the danger is if you have a dirty hand like myself, I really don't want to show it, but you can see all these uh, exposed. So it's really shockingly disgusting, but for the exercise of showing how good this camera is, I had to do that. So apologies for that. So let's actually get on to the um, Soundcore sleep bud case as well. You can see that dirt mark here as well, which is highly visible on a human eye point of view. And if we were to rotate around again, we, got, we can actually see those two dots that I could hardly see on a human level uh, point of view. So that's incredible. Let's actually open up to see if there's any dirt inside. So that's the result you're going to get. <laughs> and the other side as well. That's the result indeed. Now, lastly, let's do the Flipper Zero as well. Again, you can see all those scratch marks on the transparent screen itself. And if we were to rotate it, you can actually see the dirt marks on this line here. The SD card slot seems reasonably clean. So that's impressive. And here we got the actual dirt showing on this side as well. Look at that. I didn't realize how disgusting my Flipper Zero is at the moment. The edge is a bit dent here, as you can see. And on the other side, you can clearly read all the text and so on. Let's actually do 180 flip on it so you can actually read it. So all the codes are readable easily as well. That's incredible. And lastly, look at the fabric of the glove that I'm wearing as well. You can see all it's woven together as well. Incredible, isn't it? So now I'm trying to use the Fanciest Pro as a webcam function here. As you can see the reflection from my light, you can see the uh, YouTube logo LED lights. So if we were to turn on the first one, that's how it looks like, second and the third. Okay, so there's no aid of, there's hardly any aid of surrounding lights other than the, again, the LED light from the YouTube logo. So if we press the 180 degrees, that's how it is. That's the right direction there and adjust the height a bit. So I think we have to allow for additional light in this circumstance because it's completely dark but it's pretty good for uh, self lighting but here it goes people you can see a lot of details going on especially with the contour of my skin and all the mustache and so on is now because it's evening it's coming out <laughs> and all the breathing holes as well for my skin and so on and even the bite marks for my neck you can see that as well. So it's incredibly, incredibly um, detailed webcam, should we say. Indeed, it looks like a 4K to me, not that I'm an expert, but um, I think the word of advice is that if you're not really looking after yourself, um, maybe you should be careful how you expose yourself using the Fancy S Pro as a webcam. So for those who are curious about the microphone quality, this is exactly what you get. Uh, from using the Fancy S Pro microphone, which I believe is surrounding the camera uh, itself, all these holes. So if I were to come closer and speak, that's how it sounds like. If I were to zoom out, that's how it sounds like. Okay, pretty good, I would say. Now, this is a software provided by Cesar themselves called Visualizer. This is pretty much like Photoshop. We've got the pen, eraser, also graphic or text base of camera. Uh, settings, laser pointer, magnetizer, go back one step, for example, if we do this, and then you can go back, uh, delete and mouse pointer as well. You can choose colors and this is basically what sort of line settings you want, straight line or dotted line. This is for line thickness and also the tone and you can put grid on for two by two or 16 or eight by eight and etc. So let's put it to none. And this is quite interesting actually. You can do mask mode or the other opposite side. And if we were to come back, this is also giving you another uh, small sort of camera angle. Two of them as well. You can record video and take photo. For example, if I take a photo here, 
then you go to file list and you'll be able to see the files is saved here now that was the display and file list so if you go to the scan mode you'll be able to see that file QR code or barcode you can scan auto color uh, gray scale black and white and no filter and so on so you can do this as a single page this for two pages and if you want to scan it let's say if I just push it sort of around here somewhere and if I'm happy with that and then press the scan then it says it's saved in this file so if we go to file list so this should be the result okay so that's quite crisp isn't it so if we try the other one yeah so that's the other scan result you can get okay so again using my canon eos m50 which is a very expensive camera that i consider when i'm trying to zoom into the text this is what you get not quite able to focus on the close focus it all blurs out so you have to reasonably sort of zoom out uh, to be able to show all these details which i find it sometimes incredibly frustrating trying to show all the details i mean it's not bad but again it's not as good as the cesar um, fancy s pro okay so again trying to show you that dots of dirt and i don't think you'll be able to see it from this camera angle at all you know that's just shame isn't it it looks nice and soft but it has limit and again lastly on the flipper zero it looks pretty clean to me from this angle here and so on so if i hope you see my point of how useful the close focus unboxing experience can be with fancy s pro now before i got hold of the fancy s pro i wasn't really convinced to be honest with you based on the information that was already available reviewed by other youtubers and so on because i don't think they were explaining it very well the reason i'm telling you this is that what you can see from the information available online and until you try it out there's going to be a huge contrast um, unlike other items for uh, the fancy s pro i can see fancy s pro will be very useful for focusing on uh, tinier objects or certain part that is not able to be cast upon on my um, expensive uh, canon eos m50 and so on so that's going to be another upgrade for my purpose of reviewing products but also it's going to be very handy for uh, webcam purpose as well the microphone is very good as well and lastly i can use it for scanning and also the software of visualizer is pretty good indeed as well so i hope this video showed you how cool uh, the cesar's fancy s pro is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is ljb tech all the best